So, what kind of things do you see happening over the next, say, 2012? Uh, riots are coming. Riots in the streets are coming. And if we're not careful, uh, shortly after the next election, the anger will mount so much that we'll end up having martial law declared. And there's, there are six cities in the United States that, and there may be more than six, but I have seen six cities in the United States where martial law was declared. And where did you loss see of this? life, loss of life was taking place. So you see Detroit, you see Los Angeles, you see New York, you see Atlanta, you see here in Dallas. Surprisingly, and then and then uh, there's one other mystery city that I saw, but I don't know the name of the city. And that, that our freedoms are going to grow smaller and smaller as these type of things start start to increase. Uh, the financial pro uh, issues are going to be uh, going to get much much worse. Um, the euro is going to end up collapsing, and the dollar will not be far behind it. It'll be a matter of weeks. Uh, before the dollar ends up following suit with that. So people uh, need to get out of debt. People need to get out of debt. They need to get things paid off. They need to get, but the, the key is you would need to get in right relationship with, with God. God. You, if, if you're yes. close to God, you'll hear what he has to say. So the Lord began to tell me in, in, about things in, in 2007, began to show me things that were going to be happening and the things like Egypt. He said, watch what's going to be happening in the Middle East. And here's a sign for you, Egypt. President Mubarak is going to be removed from office and Egypt will turn into a terrorist state. When that begins to happen, know that the rest of the Arab nations that do not uh, espouse uh, religious uh, extremism, uh, Islamic religious extremism, understand that they will be deposed under a false guise and a harsher regime will take each of their places, including Saudi Arabia. And it will begin, watch Egypt. He said, begin to watch the European community. He said, because I'm going to trouble the waters in, in Europe, and the euro is going to start to fall, and, and it will weaken, and it will crumble. Uh, and, I, and he said, and then shortly after that, your dollar will follow. And I'm going, oh my goodness, Lord. He said, my people are going to cry out to me. I said, when? And he says, it will keep getting darker until they do. It will keep getting darker until they do. In March, I was on Daystar TV, and the Lord had me, had me prophesy about a coming assassination attempt upon a congressman. Little did I know that in August of that year, that would happen with Gabby Gifford. There will come times when the stadiums are full because nobody can afford to pay the prices to go to a New York Giants game or a Jets game or a Patriots game or a Cowboys game or a Rams game. Nobody can afford to pay the price. Even this year, tensions in Israel and Iran are going to escalate. The day is going to come. When, Iran, when Israel will hit Iran. They already have hit. There were mystery explosions that happened. And the Lord told me about this. He said, Israel one day will one day send in a, uh, rockets into Iran. He said, but before that day happens, there will be other explosions that will be called mystery explosions. And those have happened. But one day it is going to happen. And when that, when that takes place and those <clears throat> missiles hit Iran, you, there's going to be a huge growth of anti-Semitism. And everybody's going to blame Israel on the price of gasoline. You're going to see incredible backlash that happens. And you're going to see a OPEC countries forming an alliance that says, we'll not sell to anybody who supports Israel. So America, if you want gasoline, you better, you better stop your support of Israel. Israel will become a difficult thing, and Jerusalem will become a couple trembling. It is going to happen. And it's going to happen not years from now, sooner than that. And everything is going to begin to change. We're going to see the dollar collapse. We're going to see a new uh, American currency. We're going to see a new global currency. We're going to see a new one world currency. We're going to see a new one world order. We're going to see 
we're going to see a whole different economic structure set up between Mexico, Canada, and the United States. We're going to see a whole new structure set up with the European economic community. We're going to see a whole, a whole new thing that's going to be going. The United Nations is going to get stronger. The EU is going to be getting stronger. We're going to see Turkey rise out of seemingly out of the ashes and become an incredible force in the Middle East with, with darkness in the core of it. Right now, Turkey seems to be rather demure, but Turkey will not remain demure for long. And you're going to start seeing Russia take on a whole new nationalism, and Russia is going to create a crisis in order to, to spawn nationalism because it realizes it's, using, it's losing its youth. And so Putin coming back in is part of the whole thing that the Lord talked to me about, where Putin and Medvedev would begin to clash. Putin would end up taking over, but there's a third guy behind the scene that is even more ruthless than that. And he will end up showing up on the scene. He's not on the scene yet, but he will be on the scene. And Putin is setting the stage for his coming. He is not the Antichrist because the Antichrist comes from somewhere else. But it is part of the whole end time scenario. And Russia is going to end up blackmailing many of the small satellite nations that used to be part of the Soviet bloc and demanding that they come into a whole new alliance and a whole new agreement. And Poland will be blackmailed. I hope they do not succumb. I've got to give a message to them in the spring uh, when I go there. Uh, uh, Czechoslovakia, the Slavic countries, uh, Hungary, Romania, Ukraine, all of Pakistan, all these are going to be blackmailed by Russia, says if you want our oil and you want our gas, you will come back in. Because if you don't, we will close the pipeline tomorrow. And they're waiting for the price of gas to get up high enough so they can close the pipeline to those countries and still be able to function economically in their own state. But they have to wait till the price of gasoline gets up high before they can cut the pipeline off. This is what the Lord showed me. I mean, I was going into these details with me, and I'm going, Lord, I don't think I can retain all of this. He says, yes, you can. Here, he, he told me about, he said, the earthquakes are going to be coming. Earthquakes are going to change the tilt of the earth. And so we had the Chile earthquake, and the earth tilted, the tilt changed. We have the New Zealand earthquakes, and the earth tilt changed. We have the, the Japan earthquake and the tilt of the earth changed. And he says, when you start to see this happening, when the tilt of the earth changes, jet streams are going to change. Weather patterns are going to change dramatically. And countries are going to experience climatological changes that they've never experienced before. And it will cause the loss of crops. Whether it be fruit crop or wheat crop, grain crops, Vegetable crops, you're going to see the loss of crops because jet streams are going to change because the tilt of the earth changed. Just one degree change, a half a degree change, can mean hundreds of miles in the change of a jet stream. And it says that when this begins to happen, cracks are going to be for, begin to form in the shields of the earth. And when that happens, the sun is going to begin to rise up again. It's going to awaken, and there will be... There will be uh, uh, he, he didn't say CME as I just discovered what coronal mass ejection, what that type of stuff is. But he just said, eruptions from the sun are going to come and the energy from the sun is going to seep through the cracks and it's going to, the day will come when you're, it will wipe out many of your satellites. When that happens, no cell phones, no ATMs, no bank transfers, no TV that, when that happens. And the day will come. In fact, there will be airplanes in the sky that can't land and they have to figure out how they're going to land because they have no satellite guidance system. It's all going to be visual. This type of thing is, we are going to face this type of thing if we do not cry out to God. The moment we cry out to God, he will stop the process if it's a sustained cry. But the problem is if we don't cry out, these, this is what is coming our way. It is headed our way. There's so much that is, going, that is about to take place in this nation. There's so many things. There's other assassination attempts that are going to be coming. I'm not, I'm, I, you know, I'm not a part of any of that. I just know what God has shown me. There's anger that is going to be erupting. Violence is going to be in the streets. Rich houses are going to be 
uh, neighborhoods are going to be invaded. What the Robin Hood mentality of what's yours is mine is going to is going to spread, and and all you're going to be seeing in multi-million dollar neighborhoods is chimneys left standing and burnt chars of the houses. Violence is going to become so so prevalent. Police forces will not be able to take care of it, and even the military forces will only be able to take care of it in the urban areas and not the rural areas, and even all urban areas won't be able to be taken care of. It will be so widespread. Our military will be, will, will be coming home, the Lord said. Finance is going to force you to shrink the size of the military. It will end up causing cracks to form in the military and end up allowing your country to be invaded if you do not turn your heart to me. And so as I'm starting to read, I'm starting to read about the shrinking of the military. I'm starting to read about the numbers of, uh, they're no longer going to have, they're cutting X number of tens of thousands of, of military positions. I'm starting to reading about what they're doing. I'm going, oh my goodness, it's happening, it's happening. Has there been military excess? Probably. I don't doubt that. But I also know this. This is what the Lord said. This is what's going to be happening. Your army is going to start shrinking. Your protection is going to start shrinking. Because you're going to think the pride of your heart is going to say we don't need it. We're going to see, we're going to have, there are going to be tornadoes that end up coming because of the changes in the jet streams and the climatological changes. They're going to have to invent a higher category of, of, of a tornado. I think the highest it goes to right now is F5. I think it's going to have to go to an F6. Whatever the next category is that they don't have, that's what they're going to have to have. Because they have never measured wind speeds of tornadoes this high before. That's what's that's coming. Hurricanes that are over 500 miles wide are going to hit this nation. Volcanoes are going to erupt again in the northwestern part of the United States. Cities will be dramatically impacted. There will be, there will be things that happen in, uh, in, that are just unheard of. The shape of the United States will change if we do not cry out to, the, to God. See, here's why. You say, why does all this happen? It boils down to the Garden of Eden, and that is this. Whenever man fell away from God, he began to decay. Everything he touched began to decay. And the, and the world, Lord said it kind of like this, and it, the earth will no longer yield itself to you. Drought is going to continue to escalate in the lower half of the United States. So much so that just as it says in Revelation chapter 6, a loaf of bread, there may be bread, but what it's going to cost you will be enormous. So much so that they will have to put guards on trucks to keep trucks from being robbed for their food. Earthquakes will not only strike coastal areas, but even the Midwest of the United States. There will be places where hail falls, and it will be over a foot thick of hail. There will be softball sizes of hail with 24 inches of rain in 24 hours. There'll be tornadoes with such force that automobiles will become airborne missiles. The Lord told me that there would be a pandemic that, that, that came, but the first one would prove to be little but fear, but the second one that comes would be serious. So there's a pandemic that is going to be coming. 